Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Braytone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to basically reduce lag when you're playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate on the PC with the Yuzu emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because it helps out the channel a lot. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, I need to make a disclaimer. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, yes, it's playable on the Yuzu emulator, but it's about, I'll say, I'm being generous with this, 70 to 80% at a full playable state, and which is to the average user, some cases, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty decent. You know what I mean? That's an enjoyable, that you would say that's an enjoyable experience, but for somebody who's trying to use this for this game um play this game on pc for other reasons you may want to um boost up that uh, percentage a little bit higher like almost 90 95 percent or to 100 if that's possible as i'm recording this video this game is not at full 100 percent playable perfect capacity compared to the other super smash bros um games that's on the pc like melee smash 4 brawl all those are at fully 100 percent playable state as you can see from the compatibility tab it's at a okay stage meaning it's, it's basically at 60 to 70 percent but in my eyes the game is 80 percent playable when the game is 100 percent playable on the yuzu emulator it should be say perfect right now super smash Bros. ultimate is not at a perfect stage you can 100 like at 100 percent playable stage but there's ways you can improve your experience also, do keep in mind, if you're trying to get the best experience as possible, you guys need a strong PC. You can't be playing this expecting on a low-end PC, expecting um, perfect gameplay, or a medium PC, expecting perfect gameplay. That's just not the reality of it. Some of you guys love complaining on the comment section below saying it's not working, but you guys don't, guys using, trying to play this on a low-end PC, or a medium-end PC, trying to expect it to basically be at a fully playable stage that doesn't work like that so what i'm saying is you guys need something like an i7 with the latest the video graphics card like a 3060 i believe that's uh as i'm recording video that's the latest in the video graphics card you need a lot of um gigs on your ram and um you're gonna need this game to be mostly focused on your cpu and gpu it's because this game if you want to play you got to put a lot of demand on your pc so the basic settings you guys are going to need um go to emulation configuration um cpu emulation is also good limb speed is also good um anything else after this tab is just optional when you go to the cpu tab make sure it's unsafe on because you have more options uh utilizing this everything on default is good in my opinion from what i experience now most of you guys want to may think using um vulcan using vulcan and using your nvidia graphics card will help improve your experience at this current stage uh with the user emulator from my experience and I, from what i've seen from past games and other people's experience the vulcan uh the vulcan settings is not there yet for the user emulator it needs a lot of work i personally i feel like this thing is at its beta stage so so far open geo would be the much more preferred route you can use Vul um vulcan but you want to need the different settings and to be honest with you it'll be less at a playable state it will go from 80 percent probably to 70 percent you're basically um decreasing your chance of getting the most perfect gameplay you possibly can so i advise you to use OpenGL. you can use in the video um do that at your own risk but i i prefer using um open geo all right use this shader cache that's obviously good because the more you play the game um the more it's going to be stable the next time you play because that's what shader cast is the more let's say for example you play super smash Bros. ultimate for two hours you're building up your shader cast so next time you play it you're going to get a much more smoother experience so that's what the advantage of using shader cast and a g uh gpu emulation that should be also on also and everything after that is just pretty optional in my opinion 
aspect ratio 16 by 9 is always good stretch the window i think it works better on low-end pcs but 16 by 9 um aspect ratio is also good advanced tab um default is obviously good high is okay v-sync um is also good especially when you're using OpenGL. um shader building also should be on and use fast gpu time should be also on just press okay on that now most people want to play this game at lock 30 um fps i believe smash ultimate only goes up to 30 fps but if you want a little bit of a higher frame rate experience or even uncap i i think the uncap um fps mod does not work for smash ultimate so the best way is either using using lock that 30 fps and using the 60 fps mod which i also will leave in the description down below and how you basically activate that is you go to mod data location actually we had it <laughs> or already have it on so when you um get the 60 fps folder just basically drag and drop it here and if you want to use other mods the 4k mod but i'm not going to use that here because it does hinder the experience because you're pushing graphics more than performance so after that you just exit out that to make sure it's on go to properties make sure the it's checked Basically press OK on that and you're set when it comes to the 60 FPS mod. Also, always, it doesn't hurt to always use your NVIDIA control panel, your graphics card tab. Like I said, I explained this in many videos before on how to use this. It's pretty simple and easy. Basically set everything to NVIDIA. <laughs> and always use performance when you're on this tab. It's very important with that. Manage 3D settings. Like I said, we're always gonna go to NVIDIA. Default settings is good. You can mess around with these settings if you like. Cause every um, person, PC settings, it could be different for somebody else. One setting could be better than somebody else's PC. Program settings. Obviously you're gonna add when you add. You gonna use the user emulator. Um, high performance NVIDIA processor, obviously default settings in my eyes is pretty decent basically apply to that close it and you're all set like i said before um to truly get the best experience playing smash ultimate on a pc with the user emulator as I'm, as i'm recording this video is basically getting the strongest pc you possibly can and using certain mods like 60 fps mod or certain mods that improve your performance and using the configuration settings that i showcase you guys right now to basically get the best performance and best settings when you're playing the game do keep in mind that if you have a lower end pc or a medium end pc that these settings they may help you but you won't see too much too much of a dramatically improvement and also the Yuzu emulator is at it's an emulator that's not as full capacity yet. Yes, it's playing um AAA first party Nintendo games, but they still have a lot to approve upon, especially with this game. This game is not even at a perfect stage yet. It's at a okay stage, meaning that you can go in game, you can play the game 80%, but it's not 100 percent playable to the point that it's perfect. You, um every mod is gonna work and your experience is going to be smooth and easy as um, silky as possible. So yeah, that's basically about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe. And also when um, things upon a user emulator that I've seen that improve first, that helps Smash Ultimate performance improve, I always wanna make an update video to that. So be on the lookout for